If you've been using Squarespace 7.1, you've probably come across the list section or auto layout section. So these sections are special in that you can do some really neat things with them. So you could, for example, have card backgrounds to different items um, with a title and a button at the bottom. You can also have a slider section with testimonials that doesn't require you to use a crazy blog hack that we had to use until this rolled out. So these sections in particular look a little different because you can actually edit your content right in the section. So you can see here each one of these corresponds to one of my kind words here. So you have an option for a title at the top, but what if you want more words than just this title? So here's another layout with a list section. They're also sometimes called auto layout sections depending on who you're talking to at Squarespace. So a lot of people have been asking, how do I add extra text here? Because you can toggle the title off and on, but there's no room for subtext or a subtitle here. So I want to show you a quick hack that I use to create that. So first of all, I'm going to grab my title here, and then under Edit Content, I'm going to actually turn that title off. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new section here. I'm going to show you this first in um, Classic Engine, or classic editor for Squarespace, but if you're using Fluid Engine, I'll, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So we'll go ahead and just add a blank section in classic editor. And what I want to do is first copy in my header text here. And that was, it was either header two or header three. Let's see how that looks. I think it's header two that it's styled as. So we're going to go ahead and center that. And then underneath, I will add my subtext. So add your additional text here. You can put whatever you want. So you could also add other blocks like um, images here. If you wanted to add like a little symbol up top, you could certainly do that. But I'm just going to keep it simple here with additional text. Now, I want this to look like it goes with the list section. So first thing, I'm going to go into my colors and I'm going to make it the same background color. Next, I'm going to, in Classic Editor, make this the minimum section height and then add a spacer block up top. And if you are using a more spacious layout, you can use two spacer blocks up top. But I think one is going to work just fine for us. And next, I want to bring this section up, remove this extra space at the top. So let's go into Edit Content, and then we're going to go into Design, and scroll down to Size and Space. Here, what we can do is scroll down, and you'll be able to see vertical padding here. So I can actually set this top and bottom separately. So I want to just remove all of the vertical padding on the top. and then go to Done and Save. So now it looks like this is all one section and you have all the space you want for additional text. You could come back here if you wanted and add a little bit more space. I think I might just want to add a hair back in. So to do that, we'll just add just a tiny bit of space there. And that looks really good to my eye. But um, and you can also adjust the space between the button and your items. But you can play around with it and get the exact spacing that you want. But that is the hack that I use to add additional text to list sections. Now, if you are in Fluid Engine, instead of Classic Editor, let me show you how you would do that there. It's very similar, except you won't be using the spacer block. All right, I'm going to keep my spacing the same for this section. I've removed most of the space at the top here. And then I'm going to add a fluid engine section. And just a blank section is fine. And here, again, I want to go ahead and change my color to the same background as the area below. And now I want to drop in a text block here on my grid. I'm just going to paste in my text. So what I want to do is I want to drag this the width of my grid and it is centered here. So you can definitely play around with this however you would like to edit section. And we're going to just let's make our row, row count as low as we can. And I don't know what's going on with my alignment here. It seems to be a little wonky, 
but I'll, you can work around this until you get it the way that you want it, but essentially I'm gonna make this a little taller and just drag my text down. There are a few different ways to achieve it. This seems to be what is working best for me right now. It's just making that section taller, dragging the text down, and I'm gonna also shorten this up. And you can go to done and save and see how that looks. So I still have a lot of space up top here, more than I want. Let's go ahead and go back into our fluid engine edit section. I'm going to scooch this up a hair and then just reduce the rows that I have. Let's try that. Done and save. All right, that looks great. So just like with the classic editor, you can certainly add additional blocks here and there's even more flexibility in Fluid Engine to play with the placement with these guys. So let's go ahead and just add a sparkle. And in Fluid Engine, you can resize your items just by dragging the corners and then you can put it wherever you'd like. So I'm just gonna add it here. And there you go. And now it looks like one cohesive area for your list section. You can add whatever you want above it. So to anyone who's viewing your site, they feel like this is one section. We know it's not, but it looks good. So that is how I add extra text to list sections. It's a hack, but it works great. I hope that this was helpful to you and I wish you the best of luck with your website.